Okay, so today is a little bit of a story time video. <laughs> And it might be a little bit of a sad story time video um, because it has to do with the epic saga dating life that is my dating life of Trisha Paytas. It's literally it should be a TV show. I don't think anybody. I don't. I don't know if there's always this much drama for single gals. And I know a lot of you may say like Trisha, you have bleach blonde hair and your tits are always out and you act really slutty. Like. So maybe it does just apply to me that I attract this drama and this heartbreak. Um, but I'm fucking heartbroken right now. And I'm smiling and like laughing to kind of mask how hurt. I'm like sad, you guys. Like the past two or three days, definitely. Like the past week I was feeling like a little sad. But the past two or three days have felt like... I'm dying like I literally feel like I'm dying I really feel people can die of heartbreak and thank God I was only in this relationship for a year because I know with my ex-boyfriend who I was in a relationship with five years like it took me two years to get over him like hopefully this only takes about less than half that time a fifth of that time if you will um, but I've only been in love one other time and I've only had my heart broken one other time and now it's going through the same thing because I was really in love with this guy. So before I just go all over the place, I guess I should tell you a little bit of background. I met him literally a year ago last week. Um, and I saw him last week. So I saw him March 19th, 2014. And I met him March 19th, 2013. So it was like almost exactly a year. Did he just run away? Because it's like, okay, I met with you a year and now it's time to move on. So I should make it clear that... Technically, we are not boyfriend girl her in, like, obviously, you know? So, I don't know if that's going to change your opinion of the story or my feelings towards him. Like, it may. I, we weren't... I know. Like, I knew. He knew. Like, obviously, I wasn't his girlfriend. So, maybe I'm a little, um, not just... Maybe I'm unjustified to feel this way, but I feel this way, so it's just what it is. Um, but of course, everyone's like, oh, we don't need to put labels on things. It's such bullshit. Anyways... So I met him last March, and it was it started out just casual and fun. And like this whole time, I think to him this was casual and fun. But you can be casual and fun, but still have respect for the other person. You know what I mean? And I think that's kind of where it comes down to. Not, I mean, not that I feel disrespected. I just feel really confused because, um, you know, we talked on the phone, and like we talked in person, obviously too. But like, we had like. It, three two hour like three hour conversations this time last Monday like I'm so confused by everything like you know what I mean like we had a connection I guess that's the point of that obviously I mean I've had people just use me for sex or just hook up buddies or whatever but they don't really invest that time nor does it last a year you know what I mean um the love word was said by him before a couple times and I said it and I feel it like I feel you know, looking back, obviously he's, he was not, he didn't love me or is in love with me because he wouldn't have just cut me off cold like this. But, like, I was actually, like, in love with him. And, like, I did go on dates, like, you guys know, like, the will he call guy. Like, I, I would go on dates because he don't want anything serious with me. And I really thought, oh my god, I'm going to cry again. My eyelashes are already wonky because I've been crying so much. Like, today I just can't even function. Like, I just had a shoot and I, like, as soon as I left the shoot, I just started crying again. Like, I don't even know what's happening with me right now, but I'm not going to cry. But I would go on dates with other people because he made it clear he didn't want to, he wasn't going to be the one to commit to me. And I guess I should have known from that, like, it was just set up for heartbreak. But, like, I almost didn't care because I loved spending time with him. Like, seeing him, like, was the only, not the only thing, but, like, the major thing that made me happy in life, you know? And it's like, they always say you shouldn't put your happiness on a guy. And they're absolutely right. But, like, I, sometimes when I fall in love, I, like, fall in love so fucking hard you know, and I don't, and I can't really con even, like, control it, and I don't know, I'm, I guess I'm, like, a typical girl where I just feel like, okay, he doesn't want commitment, maybe he'll change, and, you know, maybe he'll see, like, but here's the thing, right, so, literally, I saw him, last time I saw him was March 19th, it's the last time I heard from him, and he's not dead, I went on his Twitter, and he freaking retweeted someone this past Monday, so, which was actually the first, honestly, to be honest, because I didn't hear from him over the weekend, I thought, okay, maybe he's busy. It wasn't, like, not typical. I mean, it was a little unlike him to not contact me over the weekend, but sometimes things happen, and he's busy, and he has kids, and 
you know, I, like, I didn't know, like, I, you know, and again, I don't, I'm not, actually, I'm not, believe it or not, I'm not one of those, like, pushy drama girls, like, why didn't you text me, but it's literally been over a week, and I have not heard from him, I texted him, and, okay, so, this is on Twitter, you guys know if you follow me on Twitter, you kind of, like, know some of this drama, I had to get some refreshments for this, <sighs> okay, so if you follow me on Twitter, you kind of know a little bit of the drama, but just real quick. So, I saw him Wednesday, and he texted me after he left, and was just like, you are so amazing, you looked, and, I'm, and I kind of looked a little ratchet that day, not gonna lie, like usually, because he kind of came over like, sh like short notice, like literally within like a half hour, so I had to like, pretty much like wash, shower, dry, make up my hair, which is almost impossible, like it is impossible, that's why I kind of looked a little half mess, half ratchet. And I wasn't like tan, I didn't spray tan or anything. But I usually like, put a lot of effort before I'm going to see him. Um, but he came over kind of like quick notice on Wednesday. And then, like I said, when he left, um, you know, it was like, he's like, you're so amazing. I'm like, sorry, I look so awful. And he's like, no, you look perfect. And like, and it was fun. Like, we were joking. We were like, he's like, see you soon. Like, okay. And so, so we texted that night and, and I didn't hear from him. And then the next day, I usually hear from him. The next day after I see him, and I didn't, and Friday, Saturday, Sunday went by, and I was kind of busy anyway, so I was kind of, you know, I thought about him, and I, it, it kind of sucked that he wasn't texting me, but I was like, okay, you know, always, if I don't hear from him on the weekend, like, I always hear from him, like, Monday, you know what I mean? Um, I know that sounds like, this probably sounds so bad to me, you're like, Trisha, you're just, like, too obsessed, you just are, like, over, th and maybe I am, but, like, with him, like, I just felt something different with him, like, you know, like, I know when guys are using me, like, I'm so well aware of that, and, like, I always kind of felt like he was a little using me, but he made me so happy that I kind of looked past it, but he was always sweet to me and nice to me, and I, I liked him, and, you know, I loved him, like, I loved him, like, I cared so much about him, and, like, here's the other thing, right, oh my god, I probably look such a hot mess right now, he was older, but he's not like, everyone's like, oh, you just go for people who are, like, rich, you're going for the wrong people. Like, he wasn't, he was the opposite of rich. Like, he's almost, he, well, he told me, like, he's almost completely broke. Like, you know, and it's like, none of that mattered. Like, all this superficial stuff didn't matter. And I would have been like, live with me or <laughs> let me give you money. You know what I mean? Like, I would have pretty much done anything. And it's, it's like, I, I, I don't understand how, when these, how these feelings, um, come about because I date people who are attractive and I do date people who are wealthy or, you know, well-known or I don't, you know what I mean? Like, it has nothing to do with what he does or his status or any of that. It's just him, you know? And I just, oh, uh, and he had kids and I was like, I don't know. I was like, and I was okay. Like, you know, I was like cool with everything. Like, I didn't care about anything. And we had, we've had so many problems. Like, here's the other thing. Like, we had so much drama, like crazy stuff. Like, you know, I saw him, I went to Toronto to see him, I went to New York to see him, and like, in those trips we've had so much drama where I was like a crazy ass person, like, insane, like, I wouldn't even trust myself, like, I, I like, had the craziest bitch fits, and I would say awful things to him, and then, like, he still would be, like, take, you know, I would say I'm sorry, and he would accept my apology, and it's like, Nothing crazy happened. Nothing crazy had happened since New Year's, like, around New Year, before New Year's. So, like, this whole year, like, we were cool and, like, just, I don't know. Like, I'm just, I kind of, I don't know. I felt like I felt him distancing himself, but I knew he was very busy. So, like, I, I didn't see him as much as I used to, so maybe that should have been, like, a clue. But, Okay. Here's actually the drama, the point of this. Okay, so, texted him Monday, going back to that now. So, texted him Monday after I didn't hear from him, well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it usually, okay, it's iMessage, so usually, okay, so it just, it looked like it sent. It wasn't, like, going or, like, thinking about it. But it didn't say delivered. It didn't say not delivered either. You know how sometimes you get an error? And it didn't turn green. So, like, if a guy's on, a, on like, because he was on a plane, like, he's been on a Obviously, he's been on planes, but like when he's traveling and he's on a plane, like if I text him, it turns green. He was out of the country last year, and I texted him, and it turned green. And then I'm having like a psychopath that I am. I'm like, oh my god, did he block me? And I was like googling all these things, and some people are saying it could be a possibility. Some didn't even have my symptoms, so to speak. Um, someone said that if they're blocked, 
it'll still say deliver, like the person won't know they're blocked. And then someone's like, if you call and it rings once and goes straight to voicemail, you're blocked. So I called, it went straight to voicemail and I was blocked. But then I called from my home phone, which I don't think he would have blocked because I've only talked to him like one time on it and it went straight to voicemail as well. Then I had my friend, my girlfriend, uh, I blocked her and then I had her text me because I was on my home phone. I'm like, okay, text me and tell me what it says. And her said it delivered even though I had blocked the caller. So I'm like, well, did he block me? Is his phone dead? Is it off? Like, I don't, I don't know. I still don't really know. But like, I hear, this is where I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's avoiding me, obviously. Um, so then, like I said, Monday he retweeted someone. So I like knew he was alive, which was, thank goodness, because the text I sent him, and it wasn't anything like, I never was like aggressive with my text. I never was like, why the fuck didn't you text? Like, I wasn't, I was just like, are, um, are you alive? Is basically what I said Monday, because it was like, kind of weird. And that's when the thing didn't deliver or turn green or anything. And it's still like that now. If I look at my phone, it still says that. Um, and then, so I didn't hear from him that night. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to be a crazy person. Like, just simmer. Maybe I'll hear from him tomorrow. I didn't hear from him. So noon on this past Tuesday, I sent him an email. Excuse me. I sent him an email. Or did I? Wait, hold on. Let me think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I sent him an email at noon. So I sent him one text on Monday night. I kind of didn't go through. Then I sent him an email. I'm like, are you okay? Are you mad at me? I tried to send you a text and it didn't go through. You're the only one. Like, I just hope everything's okay. And, um, sad face, you know? Like, just, again, normal and, like, more about his safety than mine. Um, or my, you know, my well-being, my mental state. So... Didn't hear back from him, and I was like, okay, well, if his phone, like, and his job requires him to be, like, and he's, like, always on his phone, even when he's over here, like, he always takes calls and, like, texts and, um, you know, like, it doesn't take, like, a long time to respond, so, like, if he, like, lost his phone or his phone was broken or turned off or whatever, like, he wouldn't have, not have access to his email, especially since, he, like I said, he has kids and he has, like, his job is, like, you know, booking work, like, gigs, you know, through his own, through himself, basically, like, he is his entity, um, so, like, Okay, obviously he would have checked his email. And we've emailed tons of times before, so he knows my email. Like, he could have totally reached out to me. Um, no response, and I'm just, this is just consuming my mind. Like, it was just consuming my mind so much. So, I'm Googling. I'm calling my friends. Like, does this mean blocked? I'm tweeting. Like, what does this mean? So, basically, everyone's like, oh, Trish, I want to worry about it. Like, his phone's probably just off. Okay, well, obviously it's been off now for four days. Uh, like, obviously I'm not buying that. Like, maybe he didn't block me, and it just doesn't show up delivered. Maybe it's something different. I don't know. Um, because here's the other thing, then. So I sent him another text, question mark, question mark, question mark. Same thing happened where I didn't push through. <sighs> sent him an email like a crazy person, and I'm like, did I do something wrong? Sad face. I'm so confused. Like, it, this was 7 o'clock on Tuesday. Nothing. And so then I'm like, okay, let's just, let's just call him. Like, what do I have to lose? Like, okay, I know this may come off like kind of stalkerish, but like the thing is, is like, I cared so much about him. We texted every single day, like multiple times a day. Like, you know, I cared about him. I'd grown so attached to him. So I, I called him. Like I said, oh, I told you guys this. I called him and, you know, went straight to voicemail and with both phones, my cell phone and my house phone. And I just, you know, I've just let it go because I was like, I was talking to my girlfriend last night and I'm just like, well, I guess I should leave with like a little bit of dignity. I, I assume he obviously doesn't want to talk to me. Um, obviously he's getting my emails, like, but he has to be, like, you can't block an email, like, and I'm sure he's on his email, he's always on his email. I don't know what I did wrong, I've been replaying every scenario, like, our last conversations while he was here, like, just, <laughs> he said something on Wednesday when I saw him where he's like, oh, everything just always ends horrible, like, these kind of relationships when I meet girls online or whatever. And I'm like, uh-oh, better watch out. But it was obviously a complete joke. And he's like, oh, I'm not worried about it. Like, I don't know. Like, that's the only thing I could think of. And then, then I'm like, did he hear something from somebody else? Did he read something on the internet about me he didn't like? Did he see something on the internet he didn't like about me? But it's like, he's always been one to kind of, like, confront me. If he, like, sees something that I that I do that's a little too much for him. You know what I mean? Because he is older and, like, a little, like, more conservative. Um, you know, publicly his persona is very more conservative and stuff. And so, I'm just, like, 
to not respond at all, like to emails or texts. Okay, well, text would be blocked me, but even to my emails or even just, okay, here's the thing, because then I was going over other scenarios, and um, my girlfriend, she's like, well, you know, maybe he, like, found someone else, and maybe he did. Like, okay, here's the thing. If he found someone else, if he just got bored of me, disgusted with me, like, don't you think after a year of, like, texting someone every single day, you know, going, being in different states with the person, you know, basically vacations with them, like, don't you think it's, like, the very, very minimal courtesy you could do is be like, this isn't working for me, we need time apart, like, slowly distance yourself, but just to cut me off cold completely, like, literally vanish. If he did not retweet someone on Monday, I would have thought he was dead, like, not even joking, and I'm just, I'm like, I'm so, so confused. Because, okay, like, the will he call guy who obviously never called or contacted me after our little hookup. Like, I understand that was one night or, like, a month hookup or something. Like, yeah, but this is, like, something that is a relationship no matter which way you look at it. If nothing else, like, if you don't want to call it a friendship or a boyfriend-girlfriend, like, it was a relationship we had. We were two people very intimate with each other, very candid. You know, I told him so much stuff. I, I don't... <sighs> I'm so confused right now. Like, I've never been more confused. I've never been more hurt because, like, Literally, this time last week, he was saying, like, love you, miss you, like. <coughs> I honestly don't even know. I don't even know. But like I said, I, there's nothing I can even do. And I, I, there's just nothing. And there's nothing I'm going to do. I mean, I could be, like, all crazy and, like, tweet at him. But, like, I'm not going to be that, like, psychotic. Like, clearly, he's avoiding me or not wanting to talk to me. Even my ex-boyfriend, who was, like, the biggest asshole in the world, verbally, physically, mentally abusive, um, at least he's like, yeah, I'm sleeping with her, I'm like, sorry, <laughs> you know, we're like, found someone else, see ya when we're on again, you know, in three months, like, I'm so, I'm so confused. So, I'm just, like, looking for answers, like, I just want to make sure... If he's not talking to me, I just want to know why. Like, is it something I did? Like, I would like to know so I don't do this in future relationships if I did something wrong or... I'm so confused, you guys. I'm so confused. And like I said, I mean, maybe I'm like a little delusional that... Cause I, he said he didn't want to... You know, he's not committed. He, you know, he's older and he's never been married. Like... You know, so maybe I was delusional. I don't know how I was thinking it was going to end. I didn't think it was going to end this abruptly. I didn't want it to end this abruptly because honestly I was trying to date to find someone to get over him because I kind of knew in the back of my mind that it wasn't going to work out but I didn't think that I was going to be this harsh of an ending. Like it's harsh like to just leave someone so like cold and distant and like not acknowledging anything like even an email even like sorry been busy like just any sort of response it's like literally the worst it's like no closure of like anything and like I said Maybe we're not boyfriend girlfriend, but we were in a really we had a relationship with each other. You know, I feel like when any relationship should end, there should be communication. You know, like at least something. Even, gosh, you guys, this has been so hard. This is like this past week is like when it rains it pours. I lost one of my best friends. I have crazy people <laughs> contacting me, like just random people. You know, and it's like <clears throat> I just I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong as a person that I can't keep friends and can't keep relationships and, you know, but I, no one's giving me any feedback in my personal life, you know? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't... It makes no sense. Like, I'm just, like, shaking so much. Oh, my God. Like, I'm literally, like, last night when I was talking to my friend, Shauna, my girlfriend, hey, Shauna, um... <laughs> Like, I was just, like, shaking. She's not even, like, a huge fan of this guy. Like, she knows some of our drama and stuff that I've gone through with this guy. So she's not even a huge fan, but she was still trying to figure out, like, a rational way, like, an explanation of what happened. And I'm just thinking, like, we have a few mutual people we know that maybe someone said something to him about something. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't... Like, I'm shaking. Like, when I was talking to John Hoss, I was, like, literally shaking on the phone. Like, I'm just, like, what is, what is happening? Because it's, like... I mean, I think my biggest thing is, like, he made me happy, and I hate losing something that made me so happy. 
because I'll tell you what, he was not perfect. He was so far from perfect, and I accepted every single flaw, every single thing that I think most women would go running. And a lot of people are like, well, you know, maybe you're just too clingy and too available. Maybe you need to be less available, and then he'd come. But it's like, I don't want to play that game. Like, I want to be around him any time he wants to see me, or, you know, I want to see him. Like, you know, I don't want to play games. Like, oh, I'm busy when I'm not. And I just, um... Oh my gosh, you guys, this is it. Oh my god, I was going to do a fa favorites. No, I can't even do Like, I was going to do a monthly favorites right now. I can't. Like, I'm just like, I, I was vlogging earlier and I could like barely keep it together. Oh my gosh, I'm crazy. Maybe I'm, maybe I am crazy. But I'll tell you what, I've done a lot of crazy things to this guy. And the fact that like, he leaves now, it's like, well, jeez. I don't, I don't know. And like I said, it's like, it's. I don't know, because I always said if I, if I found a guy that I was interested in, if what we were doing was just casual, like, I would tell him. Like, oh, I'm in a relationship now, like a serious one. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it would hurt, but it doesn't hurt as much as this does. And not only that, at least it give me closure so my mind's not, like, running a million miles an hour. Like, what happened? What did I do wrong? Did someone say something? Did he read something? Did, like, you know? Like, I'm just so, so hurt and confused, and I don't know. So I would love to hear any of your guys' thoughts, inputs, insights, um, you know, and I know a lot of people on Twitter because I was talking about this last Tuesday, or this past Tuesday, um, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, he doesn't deserve you, blah, 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 he's just an asshole, and like, is that what it comes down to? He's just a jerk? But like I said, I've dated so many jerks, and like, you know, at least, I don't know. It's weird, and like I feel like I was blocked. I mean, right? It seems like I was blocked. Not, I can't even dwell on it because the bottom line is, even if I'm blocked or not blocked, if he's not returning my text <laughs> or my emails, like he clearly doesn't want to get in touch with me. And like I said, it's been over a week now, and there are multiple ways to get a hold of me. But I hope he's okay. I guess I, um, I don't know. So. That's where I'm at, so I'm sorry if this video is really long. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and dinner with my mom and sister tonight, and I so need it. Oh, just like a break. Thank goodness for distractions in life, isn't it? I'm so unbelievably heartbroken right now. I'm, like, I'm shaking, and I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Like, I'm trying so hard to be strong. You guys know I'm, like, really sad when I can't even, when I'm, like, not letting tears come out. Because, like, I just have to, like, think about, I, literally, I'm thinking about everything else but this situation. But all I can think about is this situation. I'm so sorry. This channel lately, I think, has been so crazy. You guys are probably like, what is happening? And you guys know, I guess, I know, and I was talking to my other friend last night about this on the, through text messages. And he's like, you know, it's just, God's way of saying he wasn't right for you. And I, I know in my heart, like, that's true. Mm. I just wish it wasn't so painful. And, like, why I gotta go through this? I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I love you guys, and thank you guys for watching, and just, I don't know, this is, like, kind of therapeutic for me, I don't know, <laughs> like, I'm so thankful for YouTube lately, this past week, I've just been spewing randomness, so, I love you guys, I'm gonna try and keep it positive, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, always, I'll be okay, just not today, right? Um, but I love you guys so much, thanks for watching, and until next time, you'll my kisses for my little baby fishies, oh my god, like, I can't even, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't even want to cry. I'm going to just laugh. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>